I'm Betsy Henry and I'm a teacher and when I was a young girl I always knew I wanted to be a writer too but I never felt like it was time yet to do my writing because I had no idea what I wanted to write about. So I got married, had these three beautiful boys. Those early years while active and crazy were kind of easy for me since I was a teacher and had an elementary school degree. But as they reached those teenage years, I realized that I was getting a little more controlling and I'm not a controlling person. I was getting more angry. I'm not an angry person and more worried. Definitely not a worrier. And suddenly I wasn't myself anymore. And so right about the time my kids were 14 and 16, life became crazy and angry and my husband too. It was just things were falling apart around our house. Our kids didn't want to talk to us anymore, didn't want to sit at the table for dinner. We just weren't the family that we were when they were younger. And so we decided things needed to change. And I started to jokingly call myself a Zen mama because I decided I was going to let go of all that worry and anger because it didn't matter. Getting angry and getting worried didn't change their behavior, didn't change anything. So why fight it anymore and instead embrace it? And the first thing we did was to have them start sitting at the dinner table more often. So we started telling jokes because humor is the great healer. And we'd sit around the table and every Tuesday would be tell a joke night. And suddenly they were sitting there longer and they didn't want to leave and we wanted to tell more jokes. And slowly but surely we started to try more and more things to become a family again. And it worked almost immediately. And so that's when my husband said, you should write down all the things we've done. That could be the book you've always wanted to write. And that became How to Be a Zen Mama. Well, the book came first, and I decided to have a website. And when I went on the website, I saw the word blog. And I thought, oh, I could keep writing. I hadn't planned on that. Uh, my very first post was called Life is Fragile because I had had some friends die of cancer. Others survived. Uh, uh, darling baseball coach died in a rafting accident. And I did, it was one of those ones from your heart, like just typing away everything you were feeling. And that's still been, I think, that was the one that got started and that's been one of the favorite posts to this day. And you know, for a, forever nobody commented, but one day I had a comment and I was like, oh my gosh, someone's reading it. So now I think the last one was shared on Facebook like over 500 times. So it's just a great way to keep writing and hopefully somebody reads it and gets something from it and is inspired.